Whoa! Whoa! Hello everyone, my name is Doc and welcome to Fears of Fathom Norwood Hitchhike. This is episode two from the episodic horror Fears of Fathom game. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, I played the first one and I had so much fun playing it. It definitely has a lot of suspense factor into it. So I wanted to try the second one because, you know, if you did number one, you got to do number two, right? So if you guys don't know already, this game is basically made from stories that the developer receives from people who have like horror encounters and stuff. And basically he gets those stories and makes them into a real game. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. Yeah, don't suppress it, just let it out. I was one of those people who loved gaming conventions. I go to every convention I get a chance to, and sometimes I even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled about the idea of me going to interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. I totally understand that. This convention I was at went great and it was now the day to drive back home. And, but when I set up, I soon realized that traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. My gosh. Just imagine how much gas, especially right now when gas is like $6. Let that hold for record. Gas is right now is at $6. I might watch this video again in a year. I hope it goes down. But it might even get up to seven or eight. But okay, let's see. Can I drive? Oh, I can drive. Oh, shoot. This is so cool. This is very cool. Oh, 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 oh. You should never text and drive at the same time, guys. So, see, I'm stopping the car now so I can read. Uh, stuck in the biggest tra traffic jam in history. Uh, let's let's scroll up. Whoa. Discord. So, we got text. Yes, I'm finally... Let's see if I can get the car. Finally going to take my loan and walk. Air. Find us on. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, well, you're getting car. Yup. Big girl. You sure you're... Yeah, I'll get the escape before, too. So, I'll plug the wire. Discord. Where are you? I do the same thing too. <laughs> Almost there. I don't see if you're showing. It was fun. Oh, they hung out. Awesome. Thanks for joining me. Again, are you sure you drive my little bank? I don't really check. Good luck tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your gate. Okay, Dad. I'm not sure it will be in this lifetime that we're doing. Stuck in the biggest tra traffic jam in his in the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. And from my dad. You call, uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to that convention. Can I get your car for like five days? That internet friend, Aiden, he's a nice guy. No, you're not going to an hour drive by yourself. Well, I mean, I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, dad. Aiden Williams or anything else leaving now drive safe Holly Wow what a nice dad all right see now I'm gonna drive this song is good I hope I don't get a copyright strike or anything for this song Whoa, sorry. Kind of a new driver with this. Okay, dad texted me now. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city, got stuck in a jam. There's a lot of barbed wire fences here. Kind of creepy. Oh, and I guess I'm low on gas. 
Which makes sense. It's a 12 hour drive. It's actually really impressive. I didn't need gas for six hours of it. What a fuel efficient car. Guess I gotta find the gas station. Going down. Told you to take that flight. Well, sorry, Dad. Maybe I had the money. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you could have helped. Yeah? Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Thank you, Dad. Oh, nice. Gas station. Let's pull on in here. I have no idea where the heck my gas thingy is, so I'm just gonna assume it's right here. All right, let's get out. All right, is this here on this side? Oh my God, I can't even see. Oh, whatever. Norwood Gas Station. Just getting some gas, good sir. Hello there. Right. How's your night going? He just looked at me. Okay. Yeah. Holly, mom. Oh, that wasn't even the attendant. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Sorry, that was awkward. Oh, can I get ten dollars on pump number two? What the heck? You're heading to the bridge yourself by yourself. The bridge, Northern Valley Road. No, no people head down there this time of year. Well, I guess I'm going there. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century, people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say no Wood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them. Oh my gosh! Not cleaned. I don't know why I said I need to use the toilet. Who knows? Maybe I don't want to stop in the middle of the road to go pee when there's a supposedly monster out there, you know? And this guy doesn't even have a toilet. And one more thing. You see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride. Oh, heck no. Heck no. Do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. And she seeks vengeance. Oh, some say she seeks vengeance. After she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a truck crew. Those people are out on the road putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. See, when I hear that kind of stuff, I would actually try to shell out as much money as I can to make sure I don't run out of gas during that time. Like, if I see her, like, imagine, I run out of gas. I see the woman in blue. Oh, gosh, that's, like, the worst thing that could ever happen. Well, thank you, good sir. See, he's a nice guy. Ooh. I don't know, you just, just left. That was kind of, that was kind of sus. It looked like he just did something. He was walking by my car, kind of sus. I don't know if you'll find any shop out this other way. Dark. Can you get something for my loan? Be back. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go back in then. Ten dollars of gas to last for tw six more hours. That's actually oh my gosh, is gas like a dollar here or something? Let's see, any dog food? Any dog food? 
Man, this guy's just chilling here. Dog food, dog food, dog food. Dog food, nice. See? Oh my gosh. I would use that $5 for gas. Well, thank you. Fill up a tank? No, I didn't fill up the tank. Oh, I have to go there. Oh, this is fine. Uh -huh. Build the tank and off to the road. Man, ten dollars for a full tank? There's no way. How much? Oh my gosh! How much would gas be? This. That song was an interesting song. At least. Monsters truly exist. Every single one of them look like just you and me. Mom sent me a text message. It's okay. I'm just going to keep driving. All right. Oh, the heck? What's happened? Did I do that? Okay. Down I go, down the roller coaster. <gasps> nice, there's a car behind. I'm, I'm behind a car. Oh. So that's a little weird. Don't know why that. Oh, okay, that's, that's still very weird. Hey, but it's okay, it's okay. I have another person with me. What the heck? How do I turn back on my light? Oh my gosh. There we go. That was weird. Where'd that car go? And that car drove off real fast. What is going on? You know what? This is kind of nerd wracking. I'm just going to play some music. Whoa. Oh, is this the bridge? Oh, this is the bridge. Whoa, this is a big bridge. Whoa, this is a huge bridge. Music is calming me down. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm not trying to hear any voices. Just gotta keep on driving. Keep on driving. Okay, I think that's good. Nope, I'm still up. Oh, come on. And it's night. Whoa, that was bright. Oh, man. Whoa. What the heck? What? Oh, oh. What the heck was that sound? What? Oh, 
heck no. Heck no, heck no, heck no. Can I just, can I just push it? I'm, I'm gonna just, no. What the heck do I do? Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Book it, book it, book it. Get back in there. No one's in the back, right? Okay. No. No. Why would you turn off your car? Why would you turn off your car? I still hear the car engine. Someone else on the take away from strangers. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Oh. 10.23 p.m. 10.23 p.m. Oh man, I'm still waiting. I saw a car in here. Where? Where? Oh. Oh, are you serious? I don't know, I saw a car right there, like, oh, that's, okay, this is kind of hard to decide. I don't know what I would do in that situation either. Because, you know, there's so many people who trick, good-natured people. Is there another car coming? Oh, are you going to stop? I'm going to go right in front of you. Can you please stop? Oh, oh, okay. All right. Oh. Oh, are you stopping for me? Thank you. It's creepy music, but it's okay. I need a ride. And what better way to get a ride than from a guy who has a truck that looks like it's from a horror movie, right? Hello there, good sir. You're the girl from the gas station. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help here. No phone service. Do you think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait until I get my stuff? Uh, hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here till. Oh, yes. It would kind of help if you could back up a bit, though. You know what would be messed up? If he just drove off with all my stuff. I mean, there's no way he would do that, right? This music is very scary. Can you help me get my stuff? 
stuff. I can't believe I had to go back and get the dog food. Okay, okay, that's everything. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, thank you for waiting. Thank you for driving me, good sir. I hope your day is going well. Where are you going? I'd rather not say that's okay. I live, live good close from here. I was driving home. Normally, when someone picks you up, you want to err on the side of caution, even though that was a very nice thing to do. You don't want to give off too much information because they might try to be a kidnapper or, you know, even worse. And they might try to figure out if there's anyone nearby that knows that you're out so i will say i'd rather not say if you say so thank you very much just driving you're really lucky i i had to be on this side of town tonight i must say you're one brave woman that is a great you have any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was a battery. It's an old car. That's it? I think so. You know, there was that guy who walked past my car and he went in the van and he drove off. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? I didn't listen to a single word. He really creeped me out. He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Left mouse button to talk. So is it true? What the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster myself, but there are there are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and you don't be bothered. Yeah, see? That could have been a very bad situation. That's why, guys, always keep your car in eyes view when you're on the road. You know, I'm sorry for being uh, a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. It's okay. You totally made it up by picking me up and saving me. I don't know what could the heck could have happened back there. Twelve oh eight a.m. Man, I'm two hours away from my car. After a bit of small talk, he dropped me off by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. What a nice guy. I mean, like just like that, he drives off. Hello, good sir. This man <laughs> was putting out the creepiest vibe imaginable. I mean, he's wearing a striped green and whatever color this is, beige sweater. Gal need a room to shack up for the night. And it's, I'm only gonna be here for a few hours. $40 for single, pay cash only, pay. Thank you very much. Room number nine right over there. $90. Tommy will take care of it first thing next morning. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take not very nicely to it. Oh ho. Okay. Thank you for that warning. Oh, key number nine. Two. I guess I might be over there then. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, now I got signal. It's nice and warm. There's no mattress. What the heck? What's that? There's no mattress in here. <laughs> I don't. I couldn't, I don't have a mattress. Dad, I might stay at a motel. 
Why? What did you worry up here? What do you need to reroute? Hey, where are you at? My your dad is calling me. And this guy's saying you don't need to pay me. It's nice, but I'll send it to Holly. Oh, uh, can I not send this? Not the word. Okay, I guess I can't. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, okay, I'm getting the heck out of there. Who is that? Okay, I am actually just gonna go. Ugh, you know what? No, I wanna see. I wanna see who this guy Ah, oh, dang it, but if I die, the game might crash and I might have to play the whole thing again. I'm just gonna go back. Right over the room nine it is. Am I. Oh, am I supposed to talk to him? What are you doing here? I should be asking you that. I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest double over in Norwood. What are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Okay, okay, that makes sense. There's no mattress in here either. That's fine. That's cool. You hide somewhere? Dang, what's with that smile, bro? Oh, that is... You're so creepy. Oh, you're so creepy. That's a big TV. You're so creepy. Let's close that. Hey, bro. There's some dude that's saying he's like, Oops. Your stuff is right outside. Oh, thank you. Oh. Man, I am rich. I'm just throwing cash out left and right. $90 for a tow truck? No problem. $40 for a motel? Say no problem. Cola for like a dollar something? No problem. Must be nice. Ooh, look at that. I got some energy. Ooh. Oh, hello there. Oh, thank you gonna continue to grab my stuff throw that in there all right had a word with Joe about the situation what is wrong with these people mercy 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 well, don't you worry it's safe here I'll go get your car also, the room phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Well, thank you. What the hell? I couldn't help but shake the feeling that something isn't right. What are these pictures? The tired, my feeling, the feeling tired is overcoming by anxiety. A hot cup of coffee would help, I thought to myself. Where can I get coffee? Do I have to go back out there again? Just close my door. Machine. But I was wondering what would happen if I showed him that there's a guy in my room. Oh. Come. Come. Come here. Come here. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, it won't even let me open it. Oh, 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 that was kind of creepy. Okay, okay. Guess that settles that. I can't open it. Am I missing something? Is it like a coffee machine here or something? Oh, 
the coffee machine here. So consuming these items helps you stay awake. That's the goal, right? Feel alive. Whoa. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, is everything inverted? Was I drugged? Oh, they drugged me. Well, it's all good, because I got this. Inverted's got nothing on me. Heck yeah. Get in my room. Get in my room. Oh, okay, close my door. Ah! And then I'm just gonna... Look at my, okay, can't even read my messages. That's cool. Actually, I want to make sure there's no one in my room. Anymore. Right? Oh, this is actually pretty hard to control. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Just going to bed. Three eighteen a.m. Wow, this night is going by very slow. I was sedated from the coffee. That's crazy. Dead. Who moved all my stuff? Oh, I'm still sedated. Oh, all of this is closed. Don't see anyone. I can't wake anyone up. I have complaints. What? Are you, what are you making all those goofy noises for? Am I supposed to keep it down there? It's the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine. Joe. What? It's gone? That is creepy. So I said I got the medicaid, uh, not for medication, I got coffee. And he's like, we don't have no coffee machine. Which makes sense. I mean, that's kind of gross. 
to drink coffee outside of a motel like that. But he said that I have medication on my bedside that I should use. And my sliding door is open. Send medications. What kind of medication is this? Am I really taking any like medication that I find in a motel room like that? No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. You have no idea what kind of medication this is. It might say Tylenol, but it could be meth. Feeling better. Can I read? Told you to take that flight. Uh, oh, Holly, it's gonna be late. You need to reach over there. I'll be all right, Dad. That's fire. Anything you gotta do, what you gotta do. Oh, me out. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Am I? What am I supposed to do now? What the freak? Hello? <gasps> Is he under my... Is he under my bed? Oh, it's on my door. Heck no, I'm not opening the door. What the heck? Oh! 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 You know, I am kind of curious. I was about to go to the coffee show, uh, show this guy the coffee machine, but I was wondering what would happen if I showed him that there's a guy in my room. Watch this, watch this. Oh, it won't even let me open it. Oh, 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 oh that was kind of creepy. Okay, okay. Guess that sells that. I can't open it. <gasps> no, you know what? No, no, hey, Joe, come here, come here, come here. There is a guy who's chilling in my closet right now. Come here, come here, come here. Let me show you. That way you and me can tackle them both down. Oh, oh, no, no, come on, come on. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at this, check this out, check this out. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, whoa, a little too close there, Joe. Do nothing. Oh, okay.
Joe to the rescue. That's right. Oh. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get the police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived at the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Heck yeah. Lesson learned. I am a survivor. Oh, it's nice to have uh, end credits for this one. But yeah, guys, this was episode two. Top donations. Oh, we can donate to this. Dang. Yeah, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun playing this one. This one's a lot more scarier. Um, I think both had a suspense factor into it, but I had a lot of fun playing this one. Yeah, I think... Catchy. But yeah, I had a lot of fun playing this and I'm super excited for the next episode. And so if you guys want to keep following along, make sure you press that subscribe button and leave a like if you guys really enjoyed this video. I will see all of you guys in the next episode. Video. Bye.